Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about bookmarks in Power BI. Now, what is a bookmark? Let me just show you here. So, bookmarks are available under the View section, which is Bookmarks pane. And you would see I have two bookmarks here bookmark one, bookmark two. Now, I'm going to talk to you about bookmarks and how to do it but just to show you what you can achieve using bookmarks please note that this is the KPI indicator which I showed you in my previous video and then if I click on you have to do control click so I'm control clicking on this on button so it's now off and you can see that the KPI indicator is off but it is replaced by a pie chart I repeat if I click on off you can see here a table with KPI indicator and if I say off you would not see a KPI indicator but you would see a, a pie chart. So let me show you how you can create a visual like this wherein you have a button and you can say on and off. Please note that this is not a button it's an image but I will show you how to achieve this functionality. Please note that in certain cases what users want to do is see the tables the value in a tabular format for all the charts which are listed here or maybe change some visualizations maybe convert this into a line chart or for example what I have done here is converted a pie chart into a table right so this is a use case wherein the bookmarks are definitely very useful now so what I'm gonna do is open the Power BI dashboard using the soother template which I showed you in the previous video and then download the templates file from this Google Drive location. Next go to the CityWise analysis sheet which is this one CityWise analysis sheet and then make a copy of the table on the top right which we did it for the KPI a traffic light indicator in my previous video uh, video number 25 and then copy that table and create a pie chart so let me show you how to do that select this control C control V copy paste and then change it to the pie so you would see that the the visual of the table is uh, overlapping with this pie chart and I can move this around you can see that there are two different visuals not just one all right so I'm just gonna overlay so that you know it replaces in the position now to enable the bookmark go to the view tab and check the bookmarks and the selection pane so what I mean here is go to view and enable or check this for bookmarks and the selection pane you would see stuff like this on the left hand side you can hide or display various visuals here okay so bookmarks bookmark is defined as a state of visualization as it is captured for example uh, I would say just hide the pie chart so this is one of the states that means in this state of the visual the pie chart is hidden and if I hide the table this state is another can be another bookmark wherein the table is hidden you see what I'm saying so it depends upon what you are hiding or what is the state you can select also so for example I can select this country and uh, you know create a bookmark so you can create bookmark on any form and fashion of a state of this visualization so I'm gonna uncheck this and then I'm gonna create a bookmark by hiding the pie and this is the state I'm gonna say capture and to capture that click on add next I'm going to unhide the pie and enable the table so this is now pie I said again add that means capture this state now whenever I click on bookmark one it's going to show me table whenever I click on bookmark 2 it's going to show me the pie so this is how you toggle with bookmarks 
So what we did was hide the pie chart and click on add on the bookmarks pane. That would be bookmarks one and then hide the list and click again to add the bookmarks two. So that is how you would do bookmark one and bookmark two. Now let us add pictures. Now this is a very, very good trick on how to do this. So I'm going to give you the steps later. Let me do it first for you because it's a bit confusing. So, so now let's add the toggle button, which is the images. In order to do this, I'm going to redo the entire bookmark thing again. All right. So I'm going to click here and delete the bookmark and click here and delete the bookmark. That means I am back to my original state. This my this was my original state. Now I go to home, click on image and I have this is off image and the image is appeared here. I'm going to make it small and then put it right here. So off and then I'm going to add one more image which is on and then I'm going to make sure I overlay this on on the off image so that they are overlaid because I want to show one and hide one. Now I'm going to hide the off so I have to select the off oops I'm sorry so let me just redo it so I'm going to put on first and then on top of it I'm going to put off now I'm going to hide this off button which is this so this is an image I hide the off button and I'm going to hide the the pie chart so this is on image I'm having the pie chart hidden and I'm going to click on add. So bookmark one is going to display on button hide off and hide pie display the list. Next I'm going to do the other way around. I'm going to hide the on button. I'm going to hide the on button and I'm going to hide the list. table all right and then I'm going to say add so bookmarks two bookmark two is going to show you off as well as pi bookmark one is going to show you on and the list now this is clear from till this point in time uh, this step now let me just give you the steps and then I will show you because now if you click on this image nothing is going to happen nothing is going to happen because you have to do a few settings. Let me go again step by step what I did. So what I did was I removed all the bookmarks one and two what we earlier had and then I added on and off images on top of each other. Next is uh, please note that uh, you can download these on and off images from the Google Drive link which I have mentioned over here and then uh, hide the on image on bookmark one and hide the off image on bookmark 2. I think it's it's done the reverse but doesn't matter. So click on the image property. Now let's link the images to the bookmarks and I'll show you first and then we will do this step again. So click on on. So please note that on is visible when you have bookmark 1 and off is visible when you have bookmark 2. So click on the on go to actions make it so go to so here double click the image and you would see that the format image is off on so if you are here you will not see the format images make sure you have the on and you will see the format image make actions on in this click on bookmark and because it is available on bookmark one make it bookmark two so that when I click on it goes to bookmark 2. Now I'm going to click on bookmark 2 which is going to give me an off. 
So I have bookmark two, I have off, link it to bookmark one, it's a crisscross. Let me just show you in a diagram. So on, you have in bookmark one, visible, and off, the visibility is bookmark two. This is visibility. All right. So while linking, I'm gonna use the red. So while linking, link it to two, and link in to one. So this is imagine, uh, it is amazing that if you click on on, it's gonna go take it to two, but at two, off is visible, on is not visible. Now if you click on off, it's gonna take you to one, but then at one, on is hidden, uh, visible, correct? So I'm gonna click on off, again, enable the action, bookmark, and I'm gonna say bookmark one. Done so simple so please use control click so if i click on this it goes to bookmark one click on this goes to bookmark two you have to do control click and of course my images are not synced up so i can sync up the images as well there you go so this is amazing you know this is one of the tricks which i love about power bi it's amazing now you can you can download this pbix file using uh, the Google Drive link, which is mentioned in the video description section of the thing below. So let us do the steps again. So let's follow the step. You can pause the video, understand what we did. And in the meanwhile, we are gonna do a hands-on exercise. So I hope you pause the video and this is the hands-on exercise. You would say, download the template from this location. Hands-on, hands -on, do it yourself, number 30. Use any one of the template files and then create a bookmark toggle on the KPI traffic light chart based on the quantity. You have to follow the same thing, but on the F shipment PBIX, which you have been working on. So I hope it gave you a good insight on how to do some tips and tricks on Power BI. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how you can publish this onto a Power BI cloud service. And we will talk about various other uh, tips and tricks, data load, and other advanced properties of Power BI, desktop application, as well as online. Thank you for watching.